it's it's actually how they ex- execute. That's what's missing in customer journey mapping today. Um, mm-hmm. At that specific moment of truth, and and in terms of those interactions, are they existent within customer journey maps? Absolutely, from an, a subjective standpoint, from a small sample. But if you start to look at a financial services organisation, whether that be in retail bank, the corporate side, um, or within a small investment firm. They vary so much, um, and it's really important to start making that connected tissue uh, between the customer and employee experience. Um, and as I say, it's just maps, um, and there's always gaps between the visibility of that end-to-end journey. Um, and there's always been tussles between different transformations teams, those that are looking at operational costs and revenue, uh, those that are looking at customer acquisition, uh, and who are going to pay for these different programs that are focusing on these elements of customer and employees. So, you know, in terms of that, I think that has been the story so far, and the tide is absolutely changing now. Um, what we're seeing is from a regional C-suite perspective, as financial services have ownership in the region as well as the global, the group C-level, uh, we're starting to see these institutions implement tools as well as operating models uh, that really support the retention of the customers as well as their multi-product and multi-generational strategies uh, around customers. Um, And this is really important. Um, I think what we're seeing as well is there's now the shift to merge and and bridge that gap between customer and employee experience with operational teams coming to the forefront of transformations. You know, no longer it's driven just by the business side um, and the customer intake side. Um, Here, what's happening is that operations are actually paving the way Uh, and creating these truly transformational programs that connect the back office into the front office. And we're not just talking about digitalizing, we're starting right from the foundations, and that's about simplification and elimination before we even get to digitization and automation. Um, So look, to kind of put a a kind of summary on that question, to come back to where we are at today, uh, the gap is still vast.